All right, this is like day 45 or something, 35, whatever it is, on the old Rambo. Um, you got in a paint booth. Jason Carlin is about to paint it. We're gonna paint it aqua mist green. This is like a light, it's like a mint green, like a, I don't know, light aqua, basically. It's about half the, the strength or vivid color of sea foam. It's about half that, but, but very light, it's beautiful. You'll see that shortly, but you can see where we've come with it. We've got it, Jason's got it tinted and all taped off. The whole, the body work is really good on it. Josh Cook did all that. Josh really busted his butt on this stuff. This, uh, where this hit this roller, you can see where it really tore the boat up. You can put it on the trailer, just slam into that thing. It messes up your roller. We're gonna put what's called a cattle catcher up here. It's a carpeted double bunk with a roll, with a swivel in the middle, and so it doesn't beat your boat up. It'll catch the boat nicely when you ride on the trailer with it. But anyways, the bow was just a disaster. Now Josh did, and look at that. I mean, it's perfect almost. It's, I mean, yeah, all the body work is it's really pretty good. And uh, see the other side. Jason's uh, tinting the bottom down so keep the stuff off the trailer when he sprays it. We're spraying a one part polyurethane paint with a 20% xylene thinner in it um, for that aqua bit screen. But anyways, it's just a tinted out boat, I guess, but we've come a long way to get to this point and a lot of work. Uh, I don't know how many Jason's probably got 70 or 80 hours in this thing. We probably got 300 total or more man hours in it, you know. And then we'll paint the inside next, we'll be done. Well, that should be good. But that's where this build is at. Those of you following, I appreciate it. I just wanted to show you guys where we are. So in just a little bit, um, I'll add to this video and show you some paint going on, hopefully. Um, it's about there, he's gonna wipe it and tack it. and. I don't think we got, we got any more filling to do, Jason, or are we good on the field? No, I think we're good. That's awesome. So basically it's down to, it's down to the wire finally. Been waiting on this. It'll look brand new, I hope. We'll be back to show you more. Thanks for watching. All right, we got some things going on. Jason, you gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah. Looking good? good. I think we're all right, man. All right, it looks good, man. This stuff's got a shine like you don't believe. Wow! Wow, I'll show you some more later. All right. Jason just pulled the, it's been a few minutes, he just pulled the uh, tape off the bottom of it. I mean, look at this. Would you just look at it? Unbelievable. I mean, it is absolutely flawless. Y'all, this boat was so beat up, it's amazing that we got this out of it. Thanks to Josh again, and Jason's technique with his spray, man, it's unbelievable. Boy can spray a boat. And we, this is not high dollar paint. I know it looks like it might be all grit, but it is not. This is a lot cheaper paint than that. And it, Jason laid it up there to make it look like this. I'm pretty impressed with it. Dude, this is four coats. If anybody wants to know the exact paint we used, this, well, we can discuss it in the comments or y'all message me. Well, the, the, the blend is a certain, you know, we had a certain thinner that he used. And um, he was, we didn't have to sand between coats. And uh, it came out beautiful. But again, he's very experienced. So um, there, this is, I definitely couldn't do it myself. Amazing. It's tacked up, starting to dry. Well, anyways, thank you for y'all watching this project. It's been, it's been a fun project this boat has. And uh, Kyle, this is where we're at, buddy. Hope you like it. All right, we're just coming out of paint. Coming out the paint booth with it. Ooh, look at that shine, boy. 
Oh yeah, baby. This is kind of exciting. As simple of a thing as that it is, pretty exciting. That's four coats of epoxy oil based paint right there. Man, does it look good. Real happy with it, y'all. Real happy with it. This is Aquamint's Green. It looks gray. I know because the sun's not been out in a while, but it is actually Aquamint's Green. It looks fabulous. That's the booth. There we're doing a couple of boats down here. And this uh, nicely about three or four blocks from my house, so this works out great. So it's going back to our barn so we can finish up and uh, now we're gonna paint the floor. It's coming along. The longest wait we're gonna have, I should have done been on this, but I didn't know what colors to do, is cushions, common bolsters, and the T-top uh, fabric canvas. Um, the umbrella canvas, I think my girlfriend has talked me into um, doing like a mist gray or medium gray color for the accents on all the cushions and the, on the t-top I think that's what we'll do. She's, I think she's right And she was and she was right about the uh, the color too. It looks great man. Happy with it. Hope you guys like it We're, uh, we're pretty pleased with it It's been fun more to come